Hi everybody, Kara Kanai here, Intimacy Coach and Sex Expert. I'm coming to you guys to ask you what turns you on sexually. Now, what gets you going to make you want to go in that bedroom? What gets you really hype and what sets you off? It could be taste, it could be something you smell, something you touch, something you feel, or something you hear. Um, what sets you off? Get a piece of paper and pen and write it all down what your turn-ons are. And I mean, you can make a 10, a list of 10, you can make a 10, I mean, 20, 30, it doesn't matter. Just make a list of it. Um, and now, thinking about the turn-ons, what turns you off? If you can make a list of what turns you off, what would you write down? It's a very tricky question. <laughs> but mine, one mine would be is a turn off, hands down, would be dirty fingernails. Okay, long, dirty fingernails. That is a no-go for me. You won't even get me in the bedroom. That is a no-go. There's, I don't care if you clipped them and you already cleaned them off. If I see that shit, you're done. It's gross. I, I, nope, you're off my, you're off my list. But whatever. That's one of mine. Um, a turn on would be, uh, turn on would probably be cologne. If I got a sniff of cologne, I would probably go buck wild. Like I'm telling you right now certain smells to me set me off and I get wet just like that it's it's crazy it's maybe I'm just super sensitive um all I know is that hey if my man puts on cologne and I smell that shit I am totally ready in the bed for him like I beat him to it already laying there butt ass naked I'm ready let's go now in discussing that would you have the balls to tell your partner or let your partner read what you wrote down as far as your turn on and turns off would you be able to communicate with your partner exactly what those two things were? That way they had more of an insight of what to do, what not to do. I mean, would you be willing to do that for them? Because honestly, it's a really big deal if you know yourself what your turn ons are and what your turn offs are. If you don't know yourself, then how are you going to be able to express them to your partner? I think it's a really big deal to have us explore and figure out sexually what we like and what we don't like if we don't know then we can't tell our partner what we want right we can't express anything along those lines of what we really want or what we don't want in the bedroom because we don't know ourselves just like boundaries if you don't have no sexual boundary set how did that person know not to cross them because you didn't even know yourself so if they did overstep that boundary or did cross that boundary, you cannot blame them for overstepping those boundaries that didn't even exist in the first place because you didn't set them in stone and let them know that they were there, right? Right. So in discussing that, there's going to be tons more that we discuss on tons of different topics. I hope you enjoyed what you heard. And there's a little tip or a little exercise for you to do. And go to my group at Touch of Erotic, and I hope to see all you guys there, okay? All right.